Hi guys, Victoria here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video we are going to do some food saving. I'm going to show you what are the things that you can pick up with the Too Good Too application in Vienna. I am going to focus on the supermarkets, so raw foods, uh, raw materials rather than ready-made meals. Too Good To Go is an application that you can use to get food from restaurants and supermarkets which cannot be sold or are going to expire very very soon or that they were unable to sell or that people wouldn't buy. This video is not sponsored. I decided to make this video by myself. I paid for all the things that I picked up myself. Uh, I made three different pickups from two different stores. I'm gonna show you all the things that I picked up, all the produce and all the products that I acquired. Um, with Too Good To Go, uh, you don't know in advance what you are going to get. There are different kinds of packages that you can pick up from different places. So if you are, let's say you wanna pick up from a restaurant, it's gonna tell you approximately what can you expect, but you will not know in advance. So let's say, uh, you are ordering from a curry restaurant, then it will tell you if you can expect a soup, a main course and a, and a dessert, for example. But it might not be specified whether or not this is going to be vegan, vegetarian or with meat. Uh, some places specify if their meal is vegan or vegetarian, uh, some do not. Also with supermarkets, some of them differentiate between uh, packages with only fruits and vegetables or only bakery products or a mix of surprise things that could be meat products as well, dairy products uh, most of the time uh, and if the supermarket itself doesn't have other options like Hofer has only one type of package then it could be anything that they sell uh, eventually. So you will never know if you're gonna just get fruits and vegetables or you're gonna get a lot of meat products at once. Um, it's kind of a, a risk, always a surprise, uh, more or less. But you can kind of experience with, your, with the stores in your area, what they usually give in their packages. So um, back in the day when I started to use this application, maybe a bit, less than a year ago then uh, they didn't have that many options in my area so they had one which was a Spar Gourmet store and I picked up once a surprise bag and it was a lot of meat in it so I was very disappointed and I never went back to pick up another Too Good To Go package from them but then the other uh, the Interspar and Eurospar in my area also joined Too Good To Go also Hofer joined uh, not long ago in some other areas of Vienna, there is even an opportunity to pick up um, leftovers from Billa supermarket, which in my area is not available, unfortunately. However, my favorites are always the fruit and vegetable pickups, because then I pick up raw ingredients that I can then do whatever I want to do with. And most of the time there is also an opportunity that I can freeze the products if I won't be able to use them before they really get spoiled. Some of the things that I uh, was able to pick up uh, are really in a good condition and actually don't seem to be spoiled yet or not close to being expired. Uh, but this is also kind of a surprise each time. Sometimes the quality of the things is better, sometimes it's worse even from the same supermarket. So in this video we are going to focus on supermarkets, um, but I could make another one which focuses on more the restaurant type things. There are also a lot of bakeries who are in this too good to go, but I usually don't eat that much bakery products so that it would make sense for me to pick up from bakeries. However, I have not yet tried. Maybe they also give out other things that I would not expect. <laughs> not just like pastry and bread. So that is something that I still need to try. But I would like you to share with me your experiences with Too Good To Go. Where is it uh, recommended to pick up food from? 
what are the best uh, locations or restaurants or uh, markets or supermarkets. My favorites are the, definitely Eurospar, Interspar, Hofer and Benz. These are the four that I go to quite frequently. I once picked up a meal from a vegan restaurant that wasn't so great, I would say, but it was a, lot, a big mix of a lot of different things that that restaurant sold. So if you like that restaurant's selection in general, then it's a fun pickup. Uh, once I picked up a uh, two-course dinner from, from a curry restaurant, which was enough for two meals even, and it was maybe four or five euros or even less. So yeah, basically the point is that they put together a package for you of random things that they might not be able to sell anymore because it's at, at the end of the day. So the pickups are always defined in an hour or half an hour period of time during the day. You sometimes have to purchase the package in advance, like the day before or the night before. Um, they are not continuously available. You have to kind of pay attention throughout the day if you are intending to have a pickup from somewhere and then it might become available throughout the day. So uh, for supermarkets, usually the night before they become available and then they have maybe five to 10 packages available for purchase. And then in the application, you just have to put in your bank details and then basically you automatically save a package for yourself and then you just have to show up in the restaurant or a supermarket in the period of time that is defined in the application uh, to pick the things up. You have to go to someone in the restaurant or in the supermarket who works there and ask how can I pick up or where can I pick up my package from and then they will assist you. People are getting more and more familiar with it. So in the beginning when I asked like, okay, where can I pick it up? They were guiding me to another person and then to a third person and then no one actually knew. But uh, lately it is more organized. So I actually really like it. This is a good way to save money, but at the same time uh, save on food waste. So that is why I'm doing it. And also it kind of helps you to think outside the box, be creative with the things that you make or eat. Not always the same things, but um, you know, depending on what you get, <laughs> you think about the meals that you make. So in this video, I'm going to show you three pickups that I made and also what I did with all the ingredients and fruits and vegetables and other things that I picked up. How did I make meals out of them or how did I manage to save them? So let's jump right in. So this is the first two good to go haul that I'm going to show you. This is from Hofer. It costs 3 euros 99 and you are supposed to get a um, random box of anything actually. So it doesn't specifically say that it's going to be vegetables or it's going to be vegetarian. It is supposed to be a mix of things. However, this is the second time that I picked up this uh, package. This time it's <laughs> it's really only fruits and vegetables. And I believe last time it was also like that, or at least it was mostly vegetables and fruits. So this is perfect for me. I got 900 grams of strawberries and these strawberries to me on first at first sight look perfectly fine. I got a um, net of two kilos of apples and these look also very, very nice. Uh, the problem why they might have got rid of it or they might have put it in the too good to go is because the packaging is a little bit damaged. I also got one kilo of mandarins. They also look perfectly fine, but the net was broken. So probably that is why they put it in the too good to go. I got one, well, not so fresh paprika. This definitely does not look happy anymore. This would be good to put in um, a chili or any kind of cooked meal with paprika. Maybe I will freeze it because at the moment I'm not planning on using this paprika. I also got a bunch of snack carrots. They look also perfectly fine. This 250 grams and it's bio carrots. 
I also got an iceberg salad, which looks quite fine to me. Maybe the outer layers I would have to discard, but overall it doesn't look any or much damaged or rotten. I got a few <laughs> very small bio bananas. Mm, these are also in a good condition. The only thing which is definitely not in a happy state <laughs> are these bio pears. Well, these two look quite fine, but these four... <laughs> Maybe someone dropped them, <laughs> I'm not sure. But yeah, that's the only one which is not looking very well, maybe together with the paprika. These are the two which I would probably not buy for full price, but the rest looks fine to me. So this is the haul from Hofer for €3.99. I would say that this is a pretty good haul for that price. I'm going to eat some strawberries and a mandarin or clementine for snack for an evening snack. They are both one of my uh, favorite fruits and the clementine season is unfortunately over but this means that the strawberry season is on its way and and you can clearly see that because there are more and more stores selling more and more var var variety of strawberries these days and this season I realized I didn't have enough clementines. Actually I think I never purchased them um, I got them once uh, or twice through Too Good To Go, <laughs> but then I had a lot. <laughs> and then kind of that was it for the season. <laughs> so I'm going to catch up on my clementine consumption now. And the strawberries also made it to my breakfast, which is porridge. Yesterday evening I picked up another Too Good To Go package. Uh, I didn't have time to make a video of it uh, because I went to a pub quiz right after, but here it is. So um, this time I went to pick up a surprise package from Dance, which is uh, the bio store here in Austria. It is also available in Germany. And um, they have three different packages that you can choose from on Too Good To Go, one for vegetables, uh, fruits and vegetables, one for um, bakery products and one which is a surprise bag. This time I went for the surprise one. I previously picked up uh, a vegetable uh, package which was quite small and the veggies were actually quite damaged like compared to the Hofer one that I picked up just the day before. Um, the package was not as cool or as big but it's a bio store so obviously their prices are higher um, but I saw two girls yesterday picking up the vegetable box and it was actually quite big as well so it looked better than the one that I picked up previously anyhow what did I get I got uh, two different packages of hams one it's well, I don't really know. Like this is with rosemary and this is with just normal ham. The original price was three forty nine and three ninety nine respectively, and it expires. Where is the expiry date? <clears throat> so it's both eighty grams and it expired on the day of the pickup. <clears throat> then I got a, a vegan uh, replacement for minced meat. Which was originally three seventy nine, and this one expires today. And I think I'm gonna eat it for lunch. Like I will eat some pasta. Maybe I will put some tomato sauce on it. And then I got four of these uh, almond yogurts. Uh, these are one hundred twenty five grams each, and they expire the day before of the pickup. And then finally, I got goat cottage cheese with horseradish flavor maybe i'm not quite sure actually it's definitely made of goat milk and i'm pretty sure it's cottage cheese or like the austrian version of the cottage cheese they don't really have the, like the one that people know from russia hungary or poland um they have like a different version but uh, yeah, well, this expired on the day of the pickup, I believe. And it was 329 originally. I will never see this date. Yeah, fifth. 
So this is interesting. It says here Kren, which is horseradish, so I'm a bit nervous. Because otherwise I could e eat this for breakfast with the yogurt and something sweet. But I guess, I guess this is not sweet. So we'll see what I will do with that. So today for breakfast I'm eating some of the pear, uh, pears, like two pears that I picked up from Hofer. And one of the yogurts that I picked up from Dance and my homemade granola. So as I said for lunch I'm making this one and I realized that this is actually not vegan even though it is made out of mushrooms and even my favorite mushrooms, the Kreiters I think, which I will have to check what is the name in English, it has eggs in it as well. But well, you know, I'm not not really vegan, yeah, it says here it's vegetarian. So it looks like this. And it came from the refrigerated section and it is made of uh, mushrooms, so I better eat it fast. <laughs> um, today, is, today is the expiry date, so it should be fine. It's coming in here. Before the strawberries go bad, I decided to wash them and cut them up and freeze them in this freezer bag. I left a few for later, which still look completely fine. And I'm gonna snack on these for now. And then with the frozen ones, I can put them into smoothies, I can put them in cakes or anything that I bake. I can put them in porridge. The opportunities are endless. So guys, the dishwasher is on, so there is this noise. But um, I, gotta, I gotta tell you about this because I just made the best pizza ever. So remember this? Um, goat cottage cheese with horseradish in it well i put it on a naan bread with some tomato sauce well i just put tomato paste or tomato passata i put some of this i put some grated cheese some basil um, uh, spiced with garlic and oregano and this is guys the best pizza i have ever had <laughs> okay well, maybe not the best, but it's really, really good. Today I picked up two good to go fruits and vegetables from Dance. And as you can see, I got three heads of this salad. It doesn't look very good. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with it because I still have the iceberg salad from the two good to go pickup from Hofer from last week. <laughs> so. I might might take this to the um, to the community college to the food sharing fridge because I don't really have a use for them. However, I got a cucumber, which is this very interesting shape, um, which I'm gonna use tomorrow when I'm making summer rolls. I'm gonna also use these radishes for the summer roll. I also got a whole bag of one kilo of bio onions and they made it here because they started to sprout i suppose my only problem is i have already a one and one kilo package um of onions that i just picked up i don't know last week maybe so now i have a lot of onions tell me some recipes with just random white onions then i have zucchini so the, for the zucchini, I also have a pl don't have a plan yet. It would be, I am thinking I could grate them and freeze them and then bulk up some meals with them as, as I go from the freezer. Uh, they definitely need to be, um, and maybe this one is still okay for a while, but the rest of them, they definitely need to be frozen or grated and frozen then these ones are going to go in a vegetable broth so i'm gonna freeze them together with the rest of the broth vegetables and then yeah they will maybe not all together but maybe in two three veggies then i have some i'm not sure what these are oranges grapefruits not sure they are not really in a nice i think they are grapefruits they are not in a beautiful shape i would say Still edible, probably. And I got a broccoli, which I'm also going to freeze for broccoli cream soup some other time. So this is the haul from Dance. It costs $3.99.
For lunch today, I am using up the carrots that I picked up from Hofer last week. I am using the radishes that I picked up from Dan's just two days ago. I had an onion in the um, on storage, so that was from there. The cucumber is also the cucumber from Dan's that I picked up with Too Good To Go. And then I'm also using salad, although this salad is not the one that I picked up from Too Good To Go, but it could be even that. Then I have some spinach that I got from Joanna and Dennis because they will not be able to finish before they leave for the holidays, leave the country. So I'm going to save that too. And then in this, by the way, I'm making summer rolls. <laughs> I didn't say that. So the summer rolls, we will have all those vegetables, some mango, some salad leaves. Then this is just a um, sauce with soy sauce and peanut butter and I have tofu as well. So I'm gonna assemble these. This uh, rice paper was in my fridge for the longest time, for months and months, so it's time to use it up. But it's just there are too many in this whole package. During the day when I have a lot of fruits at home, like after picking up two wood to go and having grapefruit from Dan's and mandarins or clementines from Hofer and then the kiwis I got not through too good to go, but still I usually like to eat a lot of fruits during the day. When I have them, I don't only I don't always have them. So when I do, especially now that I have a lot of um, saved fruits, I'm just gonna snack on them while I work. So this is the end of the video. Um, I just want to quickly uh, sum up uh, because I didn't shoot all the meals that I had from all the things that I picked up. I just want to review with you uh, quickly uh maybe some of the things you didn't see in the video what i what i did with them but basically remember the apples from my first pickup so the apples uh, are still here i ate maybe one of them the rest of them i'm gonna bring home i'm going home for easter tomorrow and we are going to make uh, some pie or another kind of uh, cake or or something sweet uh, with apples then I also had the carrots in the Hofer pickup, in the first pickup, which I brought with me uh, to Budapest on a trip with, with a friend. So we were snacking on it uh, while we were out and about in the city. And the leftovers I used for the um, summer rolls, the clementines, I just eat them as a snack throughout the, the days or like once one a day. I still have a few of them. Their skin is very, very uh, dry and, and hard. So I have to actually peel the skin with a, with a knife. However, the inside is actually quite okay, except that most of them are very, very sour. Today I had one which was quite sweet though. Um, that one yellow paprika that I didn't show you what I did with it, but basically, um, yeah, just for breakfast on the side with the bread and the spread on the bread, that's that's how the, the paprika was eaten. So at the end, I didn't put it in a cooked meal, but ate it raw. The strawberries I showed you, basically, I froze half of it and the rest of it I ate in one way or another. Pears, I used some of the pears for breakfast, then I made also a smoothie and I put some of the pears in it and also a banana. And I think I ate the two pears which looked uh, very nice and they didn't look damaged, I just ate them like raw as a snack. The iceberg salad that I picked up from Hofer, I still have it in my fridge. It is still, I guess, in the same condition <laughs> as I picked it up. I'm gonna bring it home tomorrow and we will have it on the side with one of the meals uh, that we will have throughout the Easter weekend. The, the bananas, I just took them on the go and had them as a snack and I put one of them in a smoothie. So I picked up two packages of ham. One of the packages I brought to the community college, which has a food sharing uh, fridge. So that one I handed over, or I gave it away and someone else uh, could eat it. And the other one we used to make uh, toasts with um, 
ham and cheese and toast bread, like toast sandwiches uh, for one breakfast. The four or five yogurts that I picked up, I, well, I had them for breakfast with fruits, granola, or as a snack with marmalade mixed in it, so they were gone quite fast. The zucchini, the parsnip and the broccoli that I picked up yesterday from Dan's, I prepped them, washed them and froze them for later use. The grapefruits from yesterday, I already ate two of them uh, as a snack. Then the onions are still here. I have two bags of onions, so one of them I probably will bring my, uh, with me home to Hungary to my mom and then bit, like she will go through them in the next days and weeks. And the cucumber um, had some of it for breakfast today and some of it went into the summer rolls. And the salad heads from dance from yesterday. Was it yesterday or two days ago? Two days ago. So uh, the salad heads, I took two of them to the, to the um, food sharing fridge in the community college so someone could pick them up uh, and one of them I still have it I put it in water so that it keeps as fresh as it can stay I mean it's already not very fresh and I'm also going to take that home and eat it tomorrow as a side or a salad for, with lunch and yeah and that's it basically so uh, I hope that this video was interesting and if you didn't know about this application check it out, it's called Too Good To Go. If you're already familiar with it, but you maybe haven't used it, I suggest you or I encourage you to try it because I think it's really cool. And uh, you know, the more people use it, the more companies will be interested in using it as well so that we save more food waste around the world with, with the help of this application, but also at the same time, save money uh, with picking up discounted products so uh, thank you for watching uh, i hope you enjoyed this video if you did press the like button subscribe to my channel if you're interested to see what videos i'm creating next and i hope to see you at my next video bye bye